Uh, yeah, AY, um, really, really happy with uh, just the first game jitters and the way we seemingly uh, got through it. I, I think our guys have uh, been anxious to play someone other than themselves. And <clears throat> yeah, I felt like felt like that was that was a performance that was uh, was necessary uh, because we have a really tough test on Friday and wanted to get everybody in and keep everyone injury free. And I will say this: we had a great student support tonight. That was that was tremendous. Um, they were they started on Friday night with uh, the madness that uh, that our marketing department put together. Connor and Robert Goodman, his that crew was tremendous, and it carried over to tonight. It really felt like uh, they gave our guys a lot of energy. Questions? Two hundred wins now at Liberty. Um, Just means I'm old, Dame. We said we said you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, number two hundred. Everyone gets in the scoring column. Defense plays really well. You a better way to get to a, a milestone. Like uh, you know, I don't. I think when I'm done coaching, maybe I'll look back on however many outcomes that went our way. But you know, when you're in the midst of the season, you're really looking for improvement. And I, so, and you guys have been around me long enough to know. Like, I, I think for us, the the barometer is how hard we play, how selfless we are. Uh, and, and honestly, how much how much they're enjoying it? Like I, I think I think you can get caught up, especially post pandemic, in all the pressures of the world, and, uh, the the angst that you might have with overcoming that that space that we lived in for a while. I, I just think it's really neat the way our guys have come together and united, and are, are really trying to do something they love and do it with a passion and a and a representation that. Warrants this opportunity. Tom Porter with a really strong day here. Is his play, you know, can are you hopeful it can kind of help take some of the load off of uh, what Darius had to do last year? Yeah, he's a really good player, and uh, he's done that in our exhibition games. And and uh, I, again, I haven't I haven't played Darius or Colin or Kyle or Shiloh or play. I got we haven't logged a lot of minutes with you know our top seven or eight, and. Uh, just because we wanted to see if we can get everybody ready as quickly as possible. I think that's what this early season's about. At least the first couple of weeks, everybody's in a sprint to try and get guys ready to have a chance to execute in games that matter and will be tightly contested. I know you haven't watched film yet, but you mentioned coming back from UVA. You know, you make it hard against tonight that is a good field in before. Yeah, we, we've been improving defensively. Our first exhibition against Virginia Tech, I didn't think we were where we needed to be, but that was after 10 practices. Um, the next scrimmage was two weeks later against Georgetown. I thought we were better defensively. Um, hard to measure when you're not playing against Georgetown's length and athleticism or uh, Virginia Tech's skill and size and experience, but we'll, we'll, I'll be able to tell you a little bit more after Friday because uh, we're going to see athleticism that and a team that plays incredibly hard. And Nate Oates has, a, has done a phenomenal job at Alabama and has a really good team. Brody showed flashes last year in the game where he was able to uh, put some points on the board. He did so again tonight, he ended up with 17. Uh, you're hopeful to, to see that continue the progression of him and maybe become more consistent this year? Yeah, I, again, I think that's he's a natural scorer. John, you've seen him enough. I mean, the kid scored 3,000 points in high school. So, And he's picking his spots. He's, he's really done a good job in proving his strength this summer uh, and, and in the fall. And I like what he's doing. Uh, we're, again, we're, we're game one, fellas, and 30, 30 practices in. So I, I hope we're we're better the next time we sit in front of you and, uh, and continue to prove uh, throughout the non-conference. Another young man that stood out to me was Zach Cleveland. I wanted to get your thoughts on his performance. I love it. You called him a youngin. I like that. Uh, yeah, that youngin's good. He uh, he tries to dunk everything, uh, but but Zach plays with a passion. He he's really got a great basketball IQ, and uh, he he's a, he's going to be a difference maker for us. So I think he's got to have a chance to to be one of uh, one of our fans' favorites. He's and he's got a 
The more you're around Zach Cleveland, the more you like him. He'll make you laugh. Blake looked a lot more explosive. Is that been something that he's worked on during the offseason? Yeah. Yeah, Blake did look explosive. I've been working with him. Not on that corner three, right? No, absolutely not. That was his last three-point attempt ever. Unless he and Amelia come up with some of that NIL money that they've been getting. Um, yeah, no, I, I really like what Blake's done. He's, he's uh, you know what he is? He's got a free mind, and like he's been in it. This is year five for him. So he plays with a physicality and a selflessness that uh, I think embodies what the guys have modeled before him, and he's really owned it. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, Brody's a legend in Hartsville, Alabama. He, he, you can't go anywhere without. And the people's family—they're such an incredible family. And uh, and he did such a great job as a high school player. He's he's got a well-deserved reputation. He's so I, I, obviously he'll be excited about it. And I'm sure. Coach Oates is going to have uh, their guys well aware that uh, he's a little bit of a home state hero, and uh, and and he'll have to, to play through that. But uh, that kid's a tremendous kid. I hope he enjoys the experience of playing uh, in uh, Tuscaloosa. He didn't shy down, shy away last year playing at LSU. That's like his first his first chance we got to see him like. Step up and play well on a big stage. Is that something about it that you like? Yeah, Brody's not scared. Like he's 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 fairly confident, and uh, and he could miss twelve in a row and shoot the thirteenth. I love that about him. So can McGee. Coach, with uh, many season opener under your belt, what is it about home season openers that? Get you excited. You talk about the students, the atmosphere. What is it that really gets you excited? For? Yeah, I just think having our guys have a chance to play in front of our student body and in our local community. I just think for us, we we really do embrace when we say one liberty, like we mean it. Like we we we're not any better than any student that doesn't play sports or uh, any person that as a LU swipe, like that's who we're, we're playing for the pride of the institution that is on the front of our jersey. And uh, I love seeing them have fun and uh, don't get me wrong, I'm really competitive and I, I want us to execute, not turn it over, make 40% from three and all that. But I, I do realize that the more focused we are on this, this process of getting better and improving, uh, the, the better we're gonna have a chance down the stretch to. Uh, be a championship contender. How do you come off this adrenaline storm from Sky and prep for Alabama on the road? Oh, that won't be a problem. Mm -hmm. Our guys will look forward to playing a team that is as uh, respected and and, uh, and has been as successful as the Crimson Tide. Did you have a question? Yeah. Um, well, I love that kid. He plays with such a passion and selflessness. He literally would go zero for zero if that's what the team needed to win the game, but he's improved offensively and uh, he, he's he's really good. Uh, I love what he did tonight. As Isaiah and Gabriel, uh, I thought their pickup points and the way they uh, defended on the ball was, was tremendous. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.